M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So this is the old OpenSpot Shark RF n version number one, as you can see. Yeah, very nice device. Very well made, actually. You've got your serial number on the back there as well. So this video is about firmware. Now, as far as I can see, it came out with, with the newest firmware anyway, but I just thought I'd show you how you do the firmware. But what you do, because you might have an old one and you want to do that, Look here, we've got a micro USB, and in here we have a reset button in that hole. And what Sharok RF say is, you know, don't poke a pin, poke a pen in there. And to get it into what they call bootloader mode, so it's, it's almost like plugging a USB drive into your computer. You plug it in and then it appears, doesn't it, in your PC. Well, it's the same thing when you're doing the firmware update on the, this first open spot. The future ones is, is different. So what you do is you poke, poke into the hole, like so, until you feel a click. Now be very careful, don't push too hard, and you'll feel a very gentle click. You can't really hear it on this camera. When you're doing that and, you, and, it's, and you've clicked it, you then introduce power, okay? It's, it's three or four volts USB type power. And you have to keep it pressed until you see the lights flash like this. So let me just show you. And you'll see there we've just done as described and it started to flash okay now you want it to flash first of all you want it to flash with two red lights so we'll do that power it you've got two red lights when you take the stick away or the poker away it now flashes like this and you, it should go into bootloader mode remember the other end is plugged into your PC and once in the correct mode you see this bootloader okay and then you drag your firmware file into that and you find the firmware file here basically put in shark art but just put in open spot and on the right there's your bin file there and that's the file that when you click it your bin file will appear there and then you just right click show in folder so there it is there and open the other window you've got as well of why well, it's gone now because I've unplugged it where your boot file is and then you just drag it across into your boot file and it will load hope this helps you